practice some pancakes. As always, I'm your host, Coleman Hodges. We are here in Geneva, Ohio, at the Spire Institute. I know we're accustomed to pancakes. Today at the Spire Institute it was waffle day. How are the waffles, guys? Very good. And we just went to a clinic with 12-time Olympic medalist, Ryan Lochte. <laughs> we did all the strokes. Um, I talked about the things the, that I look at for each stroke um, in my swimming. And then we did two of my favorite drills for each of those strokes. We signed a bunch of autographs, uh, took pictures. I had a question and answer session with them. Basically, we just had fun. This was an all-inclusive clinic. Over the course of a day and a half, Lochte left no stone unturned. Freestyle, backstroke, breaststroke, butterfly, starts, turns, he covered it all. fingers uh -huh. and then he was like once you can do all your fingers then you can start doing it I still can't do it with all fingers <laughs> I'm having a hard time doing it with like <laughs> like this when I thought <laughs> oh <Ooh. laughs> oh yeah uh oh then you can start with no no fingers <laughs> I really liked the sit up and spin drill and backstroke. It got the tempo going and the kids were able to have some fun with it. From here to here, there's a waste of energy. 
this doesn't get you anywhere. Like pushing you that way and that way. Alright? What you just felt was perfect arm. normal backstroke swimming, all right? I want to see everyone's shoulder that when you're laying here is completely out of the water, right? Lochte was very thorough with his turn work, open and flip turns, and during the flip turn work, we even got a little tournament going, testing speed and prowess. We're not going to go all the way back. What we're going to do, one hand. Dropping right here, and one over, throwing your head back. Maybe the best part of the clinic was sitting down with Ryan Lochte for a Q&A after session one. For an hour, the kids got to ask him questions about his career, about how he was successful, and he had a lot of really fun, interesting, and goofy Ryan Lochte stories to share. Talking about that, um, like in, when I was in high school, I never did weightlifting. 
I never did that. I mean, my body was still growing. Um, I only did six practices a week. I only did singles Monday through Saturday, and Fridays were Friday and Monday. We do just relays, like t-shirts, or like we'll play water polo. We'll do like stuff like that. Um, I never went over like six thousand. Um, it was more my swimming was more technique. It was all about making sure I had a pretty shoe, and that's why we. Um, I kept on going over like drills, being like perfect. But that's when you have to put your thinking cap on, is because your body is changing. Your strokes won't. Like as you get older, you still you want that perfect technique because your body will change. So you then you'll start getting more muscle, start growing taller and everything. But you will have that good mechanic of like perfect technique. Uh, so that's why it's so important to work on technique now than later. I destroyed my entire knee, meniscus, ACL, MCL, just destroyed everything. And this was in the middle of the season, so I immediately thought, like, breaststroke is done. So me doing IM is over. Like, I thought, like, I won't be able to do breaststroke ever again. Just because my whole knee was shattered. Um, I didn't get surgery. I didn't want surgery because I was afraid if I got surgery, um, I would have been able to swim. It would just prolong my surgery. So like I just did rehab, um, just listened to the doctor um, besides doing surgery, um, ate healthy, I recovered really quickly, and I was back in the water within like a month, a month or two, and I was back doing pressure again like three months. Um, and then later on I went to go on and finally breaking the world record in the 200 IM. In 2011, uh, world champs, it was one of the things, it's the, that one meet where I beat Michael Phelps and broke his world record in the 2 IM. I was just on point in that meet. Like, nothing was beating, no one was beating me. I was destroying everyone. It was the 200 freestyle. Um, and I was swimming next to Phelps, and I won it. Um, and I the only race strategy I had was, so we would always wait until the last wall to do our like 15 meters underwater and pop up. So my coach uh, was like, why don't you do it at the 100 meter wall? You know, have a great, amazing turn on the 100 meter wall and then see what, if you have something else left at the end of the wall um, for the next one. So we did that, and coming into it, like you can watch the video, coming into it, I was like, Phelps was like just flipping in front of me, and I popped up like a good, like that much ahead of him off that wall, because I used everything I had, and I was able to win 